morning guys it is 5 15 in the morning and i am now heading to work in new york so come follow along with me this when i say work i mean i'm heading to work from providence to new york so i thought i'd film a follow a day little vlog with me um this is what i'm wearing to work this totem button down these totem silver pants, um, silk pants, and then I'll probably just throw on some sandals. I'm contemplating on bringing a coat just because it is summertime, but the train is so cold and I need to be comfortable. Maybe just throwing on a sweater is fine. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, let me go wake up my husband so he could drop me the train station. This is the look though. I tried to film a full day in the life, commute into work, and in the morning I was doing great. I was taking all the footage that I needed to take um, of my commute, which you probably had already saw, but then work just got really busy, so I had no time to even like have a second to debrief with you guys on the day. And I don't know if I'm the only one. I know I'm not the only one. So girls, please let me know. But my day just completely went downhill because it's my time of the month. My intention was to film everything for you guys and really show you my full commute day in the life, but it was harder than I expected. So maybe I'll try next week. But for right now, um, it's Wednesday, I'm working from home, which is great. And I just need to put on a little bit of makeup for some of the meetings that I have on camera today. I'm gonna do a very easy, a very easy makeup routine that I do when I'm working from home. So I've already moisturized and I also put on some SPF. The one that I ended up landing on is the Color Science Total Protection no show mineral sunscreen and these the active ingredients in this is zinc oxide 10 percent um so it it definitely aligns with what my medical esthetician had recommended for me which is great and then now i'm just gonna go in with makeup should i move this up a little bit so you see um so i just go in with the the Pro, um, Pro Filter Fenty Concealer. And I just go over some of the dark spots and hyperpigmentation. When I'm working from home, I don't want too much on. So this has been my go-to for summer. Honestly though, this is what I use every day. 
and then I'm going to quickly blend it in. I love a less is more type of, type of makeup routine. I don't really care what my skin is looking like. I can have pimples, I can have hyperpigmentation showing. I just don't feel really comfortable with caking it on ever. And I think I look better when I'm just simply enhancing my features and not completely shifting them as well. So, but I do enjoy the videos of the girlies who can actually beat their face to the gods because that is a skill. Maybe I need a little bit more. I mean, on a day to day, I really don't need anything. Okay, I just put a little bit more here. But again, this is just for working from home or just honestly for work in general. This is what I would do, okay? Okay, so once I do that, maybe for a little bit of razzle-dazzle, I did come home at eight o'clock from a long day of work, so I'll just put a little bit of a lighter concealer in the corner, go in with a smaller brush. And I'm only using my viewfinder for this, so if I miss a spot, don't worry, I'll come back to it. Just And then I'm going to take my Beautiful Skin Sunkiss Glow Bronzer by Charlotte Tilbury, mix it in there and glide it on my skin. Just to add a bit of dimension so I don't look too flat. Um, I'll also conceal my nose just a little bit. Just a tad bit and rub it in. I'll take the Airbrush Flawless Finish um, Micro Powder and just go underneath my eyes. I find this is a great product. Like when I'm going into New York, this is the only product that I use to touch up my makeup throughout the day. Because as you can imagine, when I'm waking up at 4.30, putting on a little bit of makeup, it runs out eventually. <laughs> By like one, two o'clock, I need a bit of a touch up. So this is perfect to just like blend it all together again. I'm going in with this Blunt MAC uh, blush powder, which I've used for years. Honestly, it doesn't look like it would work for me, but on my skin, it gives like just a little bit of a rose shade for some reason. Brownie rose shade. Um, and then when I'm home, I don't really curl my lashes. I do it when I'm out, but I'll just do a little bit. And that's it. I mean, off camera, because I can't do this with the viewfinder, I will apply my, um, fill in my eyebrows. So with the Brow Cheat by Charlotte Tilbury and then with the Brow Gel and Clear by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm honestly a Charlotte Tilbury fan. I just think the packaging is beautiful. That's what initially caught my eye, but the product is amazing. Highly, highly recommend. So let me do this and then I'll come back and show you my everyday routine when working from home or let's just say in general. Be back. <laughs> and here is the final look. Very light makeup routine for a day of working from home. Thank you for watching this video. It's a vlog slash half day in the life slash get ready with me 
Um, I hope you really liked it and I'll see you next time. Bye.